We're a little farther along here. Um, I'll just back up here a little bit. All this um, cross bracing that I have on here now is going to allow me to, when I put the skin on, to copy and continue with the rivet pattern that's on the the rest of the the bus here. I don't know, probably doesn't show up on the video here, but um, they have the rivets on the vertical as well as a diagonal. So the uh, these diagonals that are in there are not only for help uh, the structure, but also to uh, give us something to rivet the skin to. I want to try and keep this, you know, looking as much like a bus as I can, so I wanted to reproduce the rivet pattern. Um, that's why I've decided to go with the, the original MC7 windows as opposed to RV windows. Um, you know, I don't want to, obviously, it's kind of slide out. <laughs> it's not just an old bus, but but uh, you know when, it, when it's going down the road like these these um, slide outs are going to uh, they're just going to be a they're going to sit flush with the outside of the bus there's not going to be any um, overlap uh, you know onto the outside skin like you see on a lot of uh, slide outs so uh, there'll just be a quarter inch gap uh, where the seam for the slide out is so Hopefully it'll look, uh, you know, it won't really be obvious that it has slide outs when it's uh, traveling down the road. And um, anyways, that's my plan. We'll see how it all works out. <laughs> um, the way I got this gap, keeping this gap where I want it, I got the inner, the inner um, wall tubing in place now, uh, and as well as the upper upper one. Um, I've just used inch and a half tubing as a spacer and then uh, got it clamped in place to hold it in place and then uh, I'll weld that, that all in. I'm going to put a um, diagonal brace in there temporarily right from up in here somewhere. Boy, this thing seems to keep stalling for some reason. Sorry about that. I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, down into this corner here and uh, that'll stabilize that when I take the clamps off and then I'll slide it back in again and where to this so the outer wall is lined up with the outer edge of the uh, the bus and then uh, I'll put the cross bracing you know the upper I'll put a um, horizontal continue that around between the two and also up at the top I will put a, uh, you know, the, the uh, tubing up there across the, you know, the, the spacers across the top, uh, like I did at the bottom. I've only got four in here at the bottom. I'm going to use 16 inch center, same as, uh, same as your typical uh, construction. Um, and, uh, and then I'll put a diagonal from that point there down into that corner permanently. And, uh, now it'll leave the, from that horizontal there across, that'll leave an area for a, for a window, one on each end. And uh, I think that should work fairly well. Anyways, we'll uh, continue on and see how it goes. More in a bit. Well, it's Monday night now. This is where we got to, ran out of welding wire course so we got did pretty good I think um, this is from up inside obviously um, got some more uh, framework to put up in here didn't get any of that done only got uh, four down along the bottom here we're gonna put uh, more down in there but we ran out of like I say ran out of welding wire so there we are. Got these two corners here sitting on a couple of uh, inch and a half square tube spacers, keeping the uh, keeping it all square. Probably gonna. I'm not sure yet whether I'm gonna put wheels in the 
along the leading edge here to roll on the floor. Really don't want to do that. I'd rather build a um, swing arm set up off the corners. But when I step on it in the center, it drops five sixteenths of an inch because I'm a fat guy. So <coughs> may have no choice but to put uh, put some wheels on it for it to uh, to roll on. I'm not sure yet. We're going to. That's the trouble when you're uh, build as you go, <laughs> design as you go. <laughs> Anyways, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. We'll go down below here in a second. So I have an inch and a quarter angle to go in that gap there. It's an inch and a half gap. So that'll give it a quarter inch from the, uh, it'll give, just give it a quarter inch seam when it's all said and done. You can see that inch and a half tube spacer there. That's keeping that front leading edge all square and level right now. So may have to put some wheels in there, that corner there the to uh, roll across the floor or some swing arms not sure yet anyways yeah the windows up in those in that old area there i'll get some more welding wire tomorrow and continue on <laughs>